Mr. Jimmy Stewart and Governor Ronald Reagan. It's a funny thing. The media, the press, just a couple of months ago when I announced, was pretty much of the mind, and I saw printed even in national magazines, the idea that as a challenger, if I should get 40% of the vote in New Hampshire and come reasonably close in Florida, the president would have to think very seriously about continuing in the race. Well, I got 48% of the vote in New Hampshire. I got 47% of the vote in Florida. I got the 40% that we were aiming at in Illinois, where the political machine was totally against us. Now, to say that the campaign is over and this campaign strategy of our opponents that want me to retire at this point, only 9% of the delegates have now been decided by primary. So we are ahead of those goals. And as of the moment, only 9% of the delegates have been decided. And a great number of those are uh, uncommitted. Well, with the first inning of the ball game only over, and you're almost tied, I don't think that's any time to call the game off. Wow. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, I'm in it to stay all the way to the convention. I'd like to ask you about something the President Ford said today. He told some North Carolina broadcasters the Republican Party, because it is the minority party, can't afford the luxury of having a rupture that would not be healed in time for the November election. The President said the longer this contest goes, I have to be very frank, the more likely that divisiveness might exist. What's your reaction to that? Well, I'm in disagreement with it, of course. Vice President Rockefeller has already pointed out is that my candidacy has given the Republican Party a healthy exposure uh, that it would not have had if we were sitting here quietly uh, to rubber stamp next August uh, uh, an incumbent, uh, an uh, office holder, an appointed incumbent. And uh, we have had, uh, we're having a primary that has put us in the, in the front of the news as a party that shows, I think, some virility. I don't think the Republican Party is so flat and so down that it can't afford a, a contest. Now, this is the meaning of the 11th commandment, which Mr. Ford saw fit to reject at the beginning of the campaign. The meaning is that you contest, you have your differences with regard to policy and opinion, you don't lend, raise personal attacks against individuals, and when it's over, you rally around together and support the choice of the party. Governor, don't Governor, don't Governor, you reach Senator. a point, though, Governor, where it becomes divisive if you don't win any of the primaries? I mean, is there some point where you could uh, raise this problem? Well, was it divisive in 1968 when there were several candidates and the Republican Party rallied around and we had a victory? Uh, no, I don't see that there's anything divisive. It depends on the way you campaign. And I have not raised any personal attacks against anyone in this campaign. I can't speak for some others on the other side.